back. It's been a long, long time since I haven't uploaded a video. I had my exam, so that's why I was occupied, but now I am back. So, today's video is going to be about study tips and tricks. I recently had my exams and these tips really helped me to perform better and to focus better. I'm a big time procrastinator, I'm not a scholar. So these tips really works for me, so I thought of doing a video on it. Anyway, let's get started. Tip number one is creating an environment. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I sit down to study, I end up doing everything but study. So make sure that you have everything that you'll eventually crave for or you would like to fix it later because these things keep bugging you. Like if I didn't do my bed or if I didn't do my laundry or anything that my mother asked me to do. So whenever I'm trying to focus and study, these things keep disturbing me. So make sure that you have a good positive environment and also keep your snacks and water bottle ready so that you don't take unnecessary breaks in between. Tip number two is diminish your distraction. My mobile phone is a huge source of distraction whenever I try to do anything productive with my life. I know you've been there too. So there's this app called Cold Turkey app and I would definitely recommend it helps you to focus better and uh, basically it temporarily blocks everything on your phone like it blocks every app on your phone so that you don't use it while you're studying it helps you to set a time limit and till then you are not allowed to use any app on your phone which is a big thumbs up tip number three is active reading Imagine, to study for exams, you have nothing but a blank book staring back at you. A dash of color and all of a sudden the notes come alive. Make short points instead of writing full sentences. Extract the important points and write down on the margins. Highlight or underline the important words. Make them neatly so that you understand while studying later. Let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four is make use of diagram and flowchart. Once you are done with active reading, it's time to pen it down on a paper. Make use of flowcharts and diagrams. It really helps you to retain what all you have learned. Make them neatly so that you understand while studying it later or revising it later. Tip number five is watch documentaries related to your topic. Watching documentaries are more realistic and more interesting. It helps you to get new perspective and new strategies related to your topic. Watching documentaries can create interest. Psychology says in the form of notion picture, we get interested and we learn quickly and more effectively. There are a wide range of documentaries and online lessons on each and every topic available today. Make sure that you explore and find the right one for you so that you get to know different perspectives and strategies which will really help you to focus better and learn better. This I come to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are really very really supporting and motivating. I really appreciate all your efforts and this journey is beautiful and this is just the beginning. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any video request please comment down below. I would love to do them for you. See you next time. Till then. Bye. Environment. By creating your environment I mean that Tip number 
five is. <laughs> So